Hey everybody, Preferred Selection back for some Terraria 1.2.4. Here, just about ready for a moon, it's almost that time. You'll notice we are fully kitted out in Fisheron gear now. We have a Demonic Flareon, which is close to the best Reforge you can get. We have a Godly Tempest Staff, which is a pretty good Reforge. I don't know if we'll be using uh, purely a Tempest Staff with no other Pygmies or eyes or we might try a mix of things in the future but for now we're going just with the straight oh that could have almost been a disaster quick stack is going to be the death of me all right we didn't miss any time but yeah for now we're going for just like a straight same arena as before i've made no changes to the arena just going to see the difference that the sharknados and the flare on me Okay, so we've got our first wave. I believe we want to be up here to get the spawns. Messed up a little bit. Should have summoned these guys. Probably not worth giving up the um, flare on time. But, oh, well, you know, it doesn't. These early waves, they go by pretty fast. For the most part. Yeah, look at us chew through these guys. Get them done in, in no time. Not the fastest I've ever been on wave 3, but I feel like this is already going better than before. And I should be kind of up here, I think, a little bit, but... Right now, my instincts are telling me to just kind of bounce back and forth between these two sides. I'm realizing that my spear traps are doing nothing right now, but they, they should do something once these morning woods get under them. We have... The nice thing about these morning woods is, is before, before, yeah, look at how fast we killed that. Before we were having a lot of trouble with morning woods because we didn't have a weapon that we didn't have anything like this homing, so we really ha had no way to attack the morning woods once they were under this lovely thing. But now we have the protection of, of this guy, and we could heal up. We could also get. I'll, I'll go ahead and heal up. Uh, we could have just kind of waited maybe on that. Uh, could have gotten parts from the ground, but, you know, there, there's not really that much health on the ground. And there's a lot of, there's a lot of bad things in the ground right now. So we really don't want to have to go... Wow, he, they, they just shot through that thing. They're not... The fast they haven't been able to shoot through that thing. Might need to... And we've got vampire knives if we really... I picked up too much health there. We've got vampire knives if we really need them. I think there might be an item on the ground. I think I saw an item. But for now, we're just going to focus on this guy. Just going to kind of give him what's what. Uh, I, I want to remember that I'm not in multiplayer land, and I don't have any... You know, if I... What am I trying to say? If, if I fly too away... What, fly too far away from these guys, uh, stuff down here could despawn. It wouldn't be a good time. So I really want to kind of keep uh, around this arena so that I don't have things despawning. And you'll notice I'm almost getting more of a health advantage doing this than I am in the uh, vampire knives because Because uh, I'm killing these pumpkins and getting their health, their health so fast, you know, so I can just kind of easily go heal up if I need to. Yeah, like, like I don't even need the hearts from that guy. But yeah, you know, very early on, uh, three pumpkins down. If anyone tries to tell you that summoner is not viable, uh, you know, here's me, not the greatest Traria player, not Ymir level, not like really knowing what I'm doing or having a crazy amount of practice. Just, you know, I've tuned through. It's not late at all. It's not even midnight and I've killed four pumpkins. Uh, and it's only going to get worse for these guys, you know. I don't anticipate dying. I'm in tiki armor, you know. I'm, I'm not in anything amazing. You know, just straight up tiki. Uh, there's health on the ground for me. I, I have heals up if I need it. I'm not using any buffs. There is a delicate of people who might 
a delegate of people who might say, yeah, but you're not really doing summoner because you have, uh, because you have a flare on out and, you know, flare on is melee class, it's melee damage. And to them I want to say, I don't think that Terraria has classes in that way. You know, I'm doing a class build for, you know, I'm kind of doing... Ugh, I want to make sure I don't die. Kind of doing a summoner playthrough. I'm trying to stick to summoner armor, but that's more optimization. There's four types of damage in this game, and you can optimize to play to the strengths of certain types of damage, but the only one creating classes and the only one saying that you should limit yourself to a certain class of item uh, are is the community. If you don't want to limit yourself to... Uh, certain items, you don't have to. So that's where I'm at with this, is I am I want to limit myself to summoner armor to optimize for summoner damage, but how much help do you see my sharks really giving me here in this fight? You know, if, if I'm gonna take this playthrough this far, and if I'm gonna be doing frost moons later, especially, you know, at my kind of intermediate, like I've got a lot of Trari experience, but I'm not necessarily the most uh, gifted player in the world. Uh, you know, I, I think I do fine, but I, I just know that there's a better there's better players out there. There's lots of them. So, getting off track a little bit, what I'm saying is, if I was playing melee and was trying to optimize, I would have a I would have a Tempest Staff out. I would have a Shark out for sure. So, and if I was playing Ranger or or mage, I would I would have uh, Tempest Staff out. There's no reason not to have. There's another Horseman's Wave for us. Wave 14 for us. That's pretty cool. There's no reason not to have a. I was about to compliment my dodging there, but I guess I shouldn't. There's no reason not to have Tempest Staffs out when you're doing, you know, whatever. Uh, kind of build you're doing if you're if you're going for optimization. So, you know, if all those classes get tempest staffs, I think that I get a flare on. You know, it, it's not about it's not about playing as a certain class or role playing or anything like that. For, for me, it can be for you, but for me, it's about optimizing summoner. And the optimal summoner, in my opinion, has uh, has has a weapon out <laughs> like. Like, your summons don't take any micromanagement, that's what makes them great. What makes a Sharknado amazing is that you don't have to control it. That's the whole point. So when, when someone says to me, you know, your Sharknado should be all your damage, I say, no. <laughs> it can be all of your damage. Alright, we've, so we've hit Final Wave. I don't know if we'll see more Pumpkins because it's so... It's so, um starting to see light, but yeah, okay, we're seeing one more. So this gives us a chance, if this guy doesn't run away, and I, if I don't play terribly, this gives us a chance for a pumpkin trophy. I'd like to get that trophy. Please don't, alright, so we've got one down. It means that the trophy is there. I don't know if we've killed a morning wood since the start of this. We have a pumpkin down. Might need to go somewhere for some health. Uh, should be plenty of health on the ground. Yeah, there's plenty of health. Got a necromantic scroll, which is good. Uh, it's hard to say how many of these pumpkins, if, if any, will kill before 4.30. Uh, we've got another pumpkin down. That's good. We're killing pumpkins on the final wave. We're getting trophies. Even though we are playing in tiki armor, it is doable, you guys. It is totally doable. Um, provided you dodge a little bit better than I'm doing. Uh, but even, you know, the flare on is just absurdly strong. The flare on is absurd. Uh, like, we're just getting. We're killing pumpkins so fast. I almost want to focus on Morning Woods a little bit just to make sure that we're getting. You know, it's hard because I don't know how much we can really survive down here. Okay, we got it to full health, and I think we got a morning wood down. I'd like to believe that we did. I think we'll make it. 
Oops, didn't mean to do that. Did I just lose all these guys? Uh, okay, so that ended the fight. But oh my gosh, what a fight. So we have four Necromantic Scrolls. We have two Morningwood trophies already in our inventory. I'm gonna run, we're gonna turn off the death machine and see what we got down here. A lot of stuff we can't pick up. But what's the total damage on the trophies? Three Morningwood trophies, four Pumpkin trophies. I see that Raven Staff there, don't you worry. Um, at least 99 wood. Okay, so what we're gonna do... I gotta be, I'm gonna be very careful not to quick stack, because I... Putting away Pixie Dust, putting away a Unicorn... Fang... Uh, I think I can safely put away potions. Gotta be careful fighting the instinct to quick stack. So, I don't know how much money we went into the fight with. You can check the video. Got... A platinum and three quarters. I think that's all from this fight. Um, still not able to pick up all the stuff on the ground by a lot. Okay, so start putting some stuff in this chest. Let's put the spider egg. Oh, we still have some fairy dust here. We'll just trash that. Yeah, I don't care. Uh, do scarecrow gear because I don't care about scarecrow gear. That's that's garbage. I mean. You know, hey, if it's your first time, Scarecrow gear, cool, good job. I mean, like, I mean, I, you know, not being a, <laughs> try not to be a, Scarecrow gear, you know, it's, it's the first step. It's the first step for sure. But, yeah, okay, so. Wow, Jack Lantern masks are pretty rare. Pretty rare. And we got two. I believe they're pretty rare. I think they're a horseman drop, and I think they're not super common. Uh, put them away just so that we can get more stuff. What are you? Sake launcher? Uh, scour the ground for anything that's not. Yeah, pixie dust I don't care about. Nothing else hanging out up here. Yeah, the nurse teleport at the end was is an accident. We might have been able to get a little bit more trophies, but we still did good. Notice we didn't heal the nurse, we just kind of ran into her. So three black fairy dust, uh, four spooky wings. So if we had a five-man team, we could make all the pumpkin wings that we wanted. We have three steak launchers and some steaks. That took way too long for me to count. Uh, I believe we already had some candy corn munitions, so who knows how many we got. But they dropped with a rifle, so it'd be like 100. Uh, some candy corn guns, two of them. I don't know why I'm putting this all in here. Uh, why am I putting this all in, in this chest? Because we're going to need it in a second. Uh, three horseman's blades. Cause this one we already had. A raven staff, which I really wanted. A spooky hook, which could honestly replace our hook. It's a little bit better. Over a thousand wood, not by as much as I would have hoped. Uh, the pet. Two, both the pets. I think there's only two pets in this event. So... <laughs> I'm gonna stop patting myself on the back any second, but, but I'm really... Guys, I'll tell you, the, the very first time that I ever made it this far in a moon event, I was shocked. Like, I I thought that I, by my own skill level, I was stuck at, you know, 13, 12, or whatever. And, you know, it, it took a while to get to wave 15 with, with any setup. Not, you know, not any kind of restriction, but just with any setup at all. So, you know, to get to wave 15 with Summoner here, I realized that the flare uncarried. Like, the flare uncarried me. I didn't do, like, a ton of, you know, I didn't do anything groundbreaking. The flare on's amazing. But even still, on a personal level, I'm super psyched to have gotten that far. And now we're going to go take our winnings. We are going to throw it at this Raven Staff. Not actually that expensive, which is good. Demonic, we, we could stop at Demonic, and uh, I will. <laughs> uh, we've been really getting really lucky with Reforges lately. I don't think I care about reforging any of these. We already have a candy corn rifle somewhere. Uh, both the guns are good. Like You can go take on Frost Moons with both of these if you want. I don't see why you would with Tsunami and, like, chain... Well, chain gun you might not have, but... 
I, I don't really know much about Ranger Setup, so I'm gonna stop talking about Ranger Setup. So, yeah, I, I realize I'm leaving each of these Pixie Dust represents a silver. I don't care, I can stand here and let my Sharknado skill Pixies anytime. So, go back to our main world. Which is... PS's first. I'm so bad at naming worlds. I really am. And we have a chest called Moon Stuff somewhere, I think. Um, start by quick stacking. I don't think I'm going to keep Scarecrow gear from here on out, but whatever. I don't. I don't know if I'm just putting this all here to show off or. You know what? I, I've done. I've kept an insane amount of junk on other characters. So on this one, I'm actually gonna. I'm gonna sell some things I don't need, and then I'm gonna keep some things for posterity. Uh, I'll keep the. I'll keep the all the fairy dust stuff because it stacks. Spooky hook. I don't feel like using. Dual hook's better for combat. Spooky hook's better for building. Uh, I guess I'll put trophies in here for... I could put trophies up, but I'll figure out where I want to put them before I put them up. Might as well keep the ammo. Um, I'm already keeping a cursed sapling. I don't need to keep two. Keep the spider. <laughs> so much inventory management on camera. I'll make this like the row of spooky wood. Why am I keeping two candy corn rifles? I only need to keep one. Okay, and for necromantic scrolls, we'll keep the... Uh, these are material. We're going to go have to buy another beetle from our witch doctor. We, we could sell... What does the beetle do? It does... Uh, it increases... The... Yeah, we're going to keep the beetle for min-maxing purposes. Okay, everything I have on me, I'm good with selling. I mean, not these guys, obviously. I should do. I should do a. Um, so Joe Price, uh, aka Diceman X, says that the Ravens are better for. I'm never gonna use this pumpkin blade, so I should put it there. I'll keep two. I don't know why I'm keeping two. I. I want to, <laughs> so I'm doing it. Uh, the best weapons. Goodbye, pygmy staff for now. Do I have die anywhere? I should. Let's try dying the wings. Violet, maybe? Maybe black and violet? Where's our die thing? I have no idea what I'm doing for the rest of this episode after... I mean, I might do another moon, I'm not sure. So... Let's try Violet first, see how it looks. Violet looks very strange. That might be too pink. Let's try Black. Uh, you know, Black actually looks reasonable. Maybe not the best. Uh... Maybe black and blue. Whoops. Black and purple, maybe? Uh, can you, like, they both come from the ocean. Maybe there's they're trying to tell you something by the fact that they both come from the ocean. So how does purple look? I don't... I'm not, I'm not in love with it. Black and purple. Uh, it really looks the same as purple, but you know what? I'm gonna call it good enough. Good enough. So you saw a little bit more inventory management on camera than normal because- Wow, Kitty Corn Rifles. These all sell for a ton. That's kind of neat. And yeah, we don't need any of them. Technically, it'd be better to keep a different Horseman's Blade if I was gonna reforge- and I will, just because it makes slightly more fiscal sense. Uh, moon stuff. There's no reason I would ever use an Agile one. So yeah, sell the Agile one, keep the regular one for reforging. 
Keep the godly one for use. And the pet doesn't sell. I thought pets mostly sold for three gold, but I guess not. Okay, so now where is... Good, the witch doctor is where he is supposed to be. Yeah, these wings look look all right. Purple's a little weird. I can't... Is that any different from purple and black? Sometimes they're not. And we don't have any minions out right now. Uh, I should summon some minions. Yeah, I'll, I'll run to the witch doctor first. We're almost there. Nah. Normally I would do some fancy stuff with swapping to Tiki, but whatever. Why aren't you selling me a Hercules beetle? Does it need to be nighttime? That's a while away. If it does. What am I gonna... I don't want to do video editing, guys. Does it need to be nighttime? I'm gonna show... Alright, we're gonna hide. We're gonna show off the power of our minions. We're gonna hide right here. I'll look up on my phone when he sells the Hercules Beetle. Hercules Beetle. This is so unprofessional. I should just edit this part out. Um, what? Wait, why am I... No, not Wikipedia. That is the actual beetle, right? Yeah. You guys ever play Animal Crossing? There's a Hercules Beetle in Animal Crossing. There's a bunch of beetles in Animal Crossing. They're kind of fun to collect. That's the only, uh, like, I'm not a big fan of Animal Crossing. That's the only part of the game that I really pay attention to is the beetles. And, like, or catching things in general. Um, so he is... Oh, pygmy. Okay, not, so we don't have to wait till night, but we do have to have a pygmy staff in our inventory. So we'll go back here. A lot of you are probably screaming. Well, no, you guys are really nice, but some people might have been... You know, banging on their screens going, You need that pygmy staff to go to the witch doctor. You always need the pygmy staff to go to the witch doctor. What are you doing? You would not have been wrong. I love how on pretty much most world spawns, the fish on wings, and I don't I don't know if this is because I'm wearing these boots or whatever. The lightning boots or frost I might have frost spark boots on this character. Yeah, just barely. Fish on boots. From just about any, like as long as you're above like 200 feet, uh, which most world spawns, most world spawns are like 250 feet, seems like. Ooh, there's some corruption sneaking in here. I don't like. I, I overshot the witch doctor by a lot. Okay. So, witch doctor is not in danger of corruption, is he? Just in case he is. This pickaxe seems slow. I don't like that. There's still corruption down here. Um, guess we'll dig over. This is a lot of work to make sure that our guys, that our, uh, well, I mean, it's a lot of work to make sure our jungle stays safe, which is fair. Not what I expected to do, but honestly, we've got some time. To... No, we don't. How do we not have time to kill? We only did one moon this episode. Why is it like 23 minutes in or whatever? This is the cheap way to protect your world if you don't want to shell out for Contaminator. And it's absolutely not perfect, but get, getting a little bit of world protection out of going in here and just pushing back a little bit of the, uh, man, it might not be worth it. Eh, screw it. Got bored. More important stuff to do. Is there? Get rid of a little bit of it. And it might be harder to do than I thought. Contaminator would really do the job. Uh, I don't remember how you contaminate the jungle, but I, I know there's a way. You can't do it like in the way that you'd expect because... Wait, no. Maybe you do. Ignore me. I know there's a way to do it. Okay, so we need the Hercules Beetle. I think 
think that's it. Buy some vials of venom while I'm here. Uh, do I have an imbuing station? I don't know. I think I do. You know what? I'll buy ten of these. We have the money. Why not? That way I don't have to run over here again. So these vials of venom, if I go to an imbuing station, which we probably don't have... Yeah, why would, why would we have? That's not going to take me anywhere. Um, yeah. Pardon me if we already have an imbuing station, but... Run back over to the witch doctor once again. Luckily he's close. You look at how easily we just hit the ceiling of the world without trying to. Yeah, our jungle's so close, why not? Man, even the hollow is encroaching on our jungle. Our witch doctor might need to be in an artificial biome soon. Yeah, viewing station. And that can just go wherever. If we already had one, it's seven gold. I don't care too much. So if we go get a, from the potion's chest, some water bottles. Do we have like a swimming pool anywhere? Or... Ooh, pardon that plosive right there. That S I hit really hard. I need a pop filter now, just for that one. Normally I'm really good about that, I think. I don't know. Too many water bottles. That's okay. I mean, there's no, no such thing as too many water bottles. Okay, so we go over here. With water bottles and our vials. Wow, you need a lot of vials. You, okay, so that's why they're so cheap. You can make some flasks of venom. You'd think it'd be a one-to-one -one ratio and they just make them cost 50 silver. Uh, except maybe they're used for... Yeah, they're used for making venom arrows. Okay, never mind. I've, I've talked myself into it. So these would inflict venom on our enemies. Um... If our Flareon didn't kill things so fast, it would be worth it, but... Okay, I'll show you where this can be handy. Let's go to... I'll put these in hard mode goodies, I guess. That doesn't really make any sense. So now if we take out, let's say, 50, let's say 20 Icker. Go down here. Flasks of Icker where it's at, because these can lower the defense of enemies by... We have so much random junk in here. Okay, let's go sell a little bit of stuff that we shouldn't have in our piggy bank. We didn't, okay, we didn't just sell our flasks of Vicar, did we? Let's go double check on that. Yeah, okay, so th those would, for the length of a full pumpkin moon, for the length of a full eclipse, really, they would... I'm gonna put away some more, too. <laughs> oh, sorry, my train of thought. It, I'm recording late again. You guys can probably tell. You know, I'm absolutely, you know, recording sober. Like, not, I don't care if you do or don't, but uh, I prefer to record. I don't drink very much in general, so, you know, usually that is the case when I record. What am I talking about? Uh, I was talking about Flasks of Vicar. Yeah, they can help you out during uh, Moon because they give you uh, Icar on your weapons, which means that your Flareon now does uh, debuff of minus 30 defense to Morning Woods, to Pumpkins, to all those guys. The only downside is that the bubbles don't trigger it, so you have to actually hit them with the Flareon, which is not optimal. You kind of want to shoot fast, plast you want to shoot fast them? Wow. You want to shoot past them with the flare on, which is not so easy to do. Well, what? Yeah, it is. I don't know. Okay. We, we've we made our Papyrus Scarab, which was the thing I was going to make out of the Necromantic Scroll and the Hercules Beetle. Uh, Pygmy Necklace is not a... Yeah, not a, not a material for anything. Okay. So now we go to the... How much do you want to reforge this thing? Probably a ton. Nope. Hasty's not good enough though, so... Okay, finally. I was I was itching to throw away some platinum. We haven't really gone after a reforge in a while. So what do we want from this? I don't, I don't know if we really care because we're just going to be putting it on to reforge thing? Or to, to summon minions, so... 
Maybe I don't know. Maybe we'll wear it all, all the time over the Star Veil. I haven't decided. Arcane does nothing for us. Rash does nothing. Intrepid, I don't care. Intrepid, I don't care. Hard. Uh, quick's not terrible, but we can keep going. Lucky. I mean, if we end up wearing it all the time, it's going to be good for traps. Uh, I mean, if we if we were like AFK farming or like depending on. You know what? It, yeah, Lucky's fine. It's it's not ideal for our minions because I believe I keep hearing that minions can't crit. I don't know if that's true. Maybe their crit chance can't be increased, but I feel like I've seen my minions crit. Let's go prove or disprove that right now. Okay, no weapons out. If we see anything that's like 150 or whatever. See if our minions can crit. Uh, not seeing it there, but it might be a 4% base chance, so we have to... Come on, minions. Maybe they can't. <laughs> not seeing it. Can I find something big? Yeah, I'm not seeing the... I'm not seeing crits. So maybe people are right. Yeah, maybe... I don't know. I didn't really test that long enough, but... Question is, do I want to go past Lucky? Because it'll be good for the flare on... Sort of... You know what? I'm going to go for, like, menacing or warding. I know that there's probably people saying, like... Great reasons why Lucky is the place to stop, but it's showing up in our face now. Uh, I feel good about warding. It's still warding is still not very useful if we are like if we're swapping it in to summon. But yeah, okay. So now we don't need to wear the pig me neck. No, we still. I'm gonna still wear the pig necklace. Normally, I'd probably keep the lava... No, uh, well, no. Yeah, Charm of Myths, you're retired. I could retire GPS, because I never remember that I have it. Um, yeah, okay. GPS, I never remember that I have you. So you're going in to live in best accessories. Necromantic scroll... Um, that's actually still really good. Maybe I should have one of these on me. Let's look at what all of our minion affecting accessories do. I reforged this to angry, I think, between the last episode and this one. Okay, so increases max number of minions is definitely like the worst I have, I'm pretty sure. Um, increases the damage and knockback of your minions by 15% is... Except... It's it's absolutely... It's gonna... It should stay on my person for... Like, re like really min maxi summoning. Because your minions' damage is determined when you summon them. Max number of minions. I believe this is the two combined. So this is uh, this is obviously obviously the best. This is obviously the worst. Oh, well, I mean, you could argue between these two, but yeah, this is actually Necromantic Scroll is probably the second best one. So really, Necromantic Scroll should not get put away unless I'm putting like multiple of these away. Did we have a better? You know, we probably sold, like, a really good Necromantic Scroll, and I also didn't even... Did I sell two of these already? I probably did, but... Whatever. See how we can do. Brisk is really popular. Angry, um... We have a ton of money. Let's go for better than Angry. I'm going to regret saying I have a ton of money when I use up all my money. I want... Honestly, <laughs> Angry was pretty close to what I want, because I want Menacing. Lucky again. I have to think about Lucky again. Nope. This is getting expensive. Wording. 
Where, where does Warden get me at the end of the day? A little bit more defense while I'm... You know what? I can think about it later. I can think about it later if I want to keep going after that. Lucky probably would have been better, but... Okay, so... Lava Charm, I think, is getting retired. Because we can... Like, anytime we walk on lava, it's usually by choice. So... I'll retire it at least to my piggy bank so that we have it on us. But, okay, so what is my minion summoning... What does my ideal minion summoning plan look like right now? Let's see, we... Okay, so we'll use the Tempest Staff as a base. Um, start off with... Yeah, start off with Spooky Helmet. Unsummon everything. So, throw all these on. Looking at 116 is actually not a ton. Summon 1, 2, 3, 4... Then we pop into this guy, summon five. Then what? Celestial stone and wings we absolutely need. I, I want the frostbark boots, I want the honor charm. Would I rather have the star veil or the papyrus scarab? I think I'm gonna die for this, but I'm kind of glad it's warding now because I I kind of want to see that. Okay, so getting rid of the minions again. Pop all you guys here. Pop. Yeah, makes sense to do it like that. One sixteen for one, two, three, four, five. I think. Then pop all you guys back. Wait, actually, no. Sorry. Sorry. The Celestial Stone gives us the best bonus. Yeah, 122. I hope you guys understand why I'm... I don't know why I'm doing this. I mean, I know why I'm doing this for my own benefit. I don't know why I'm making you guys go through it. But maybe you've watched some videos of people doing like some really high-level thinking through everything they're doing, and maybe you wanted to get a piece of what they're doing and thinking about. Okay, so from here... Was I in Spooky? Ugh. <laughs> Sorry. Start off in Spooky, for sure. Everything's equipped that should be equipped. One, two, three, four, five. Switch to Tiki. Six. Then... I want to be able to just click this through, so... I think you go up there. Does this make sense? Yes. So then, okay, so I summon the sixth. Then I click all those guys back over. Now, I have six Sharknados that do the weakest doesn't, it doesn't do 92. It does like, the weakest does like 100, the best do 122. I don't know why I bothered to keep you guys here while I figured that out. This episode was like long now and all I did was a moon, but yeah. So now we know our loadout. I still have not talked about whether or not I want to do like 10 episodes of like more of this of until 1.3 comes out or if I want to do I yeah okay we have to talk about that now. Um, 
between now and June, I don't really know what to do with this character. It's all kitted out. I'm not going to get any summoner gear from Frost Moons. I can do a couple more episodes where I throw myself at a Frost Moon, where I work on an arena, but we're pretty much done with this character. So what kind of Terraria content do you guys want to see from me in June? Or in May and June? What kind of content do you want to see until 1.3 comes out? I don't really want to start a new character that I only play with for a month. So do you want to see some challenge runs or do you want to see, do you really want to see a character between now and 1.3? I see a lot of other YouTubers doing that, but you know, I'm looking to kind of feel like an awkward, like one month, two month gap between now and 1.3. Let me know what you guys want to see. Do you want to see more of this character? And if so, what do I do? Like, do I just do frost moons? Do I just beat the heck out of fish run in the, in the, you know, Okay, you guys get the idea. I want to know your feedback. I want comments. I want suggestions. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time.